Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Jeff Commander Coffee. Welcome back to another episode of Realism Invictus, uh, my tutorial series. And today we're going to be doing some early warfare. So we've scouted our opening territory, taken stock of our resources and the territory available to us. Uh, we've built uh, some of our early cities and focused on getting some buildings that will help our civilization grow, some wonders, uh, as well as just the, the foundations for our empire. Uh, even got ourselves a religion. Now that borders have been established, we have an ally to our south. We have the Vikings slightly further west, but they are expanding in our direction, as well as barbarians. Uh, our most logical source of expansion is the Incans to our northeast. Their land is pretty good. Their uh, capital is on our borders. Uh, Judaism seems to have spread to their lands because they have already... Um, whoops. Uh, looks like they have a city over here somewhere as well. Uh, but yes, they've already... Uh, Judaism has already spread some of their territory. So I have no issues with uh, gobbling that up. Um, but yes, they, they make the most reasonable uh, source of expansion, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, their city garrison is a Andean archer, which our Sreni uh, Patya Yodaha will be able to wa wipe the floor with. Uh, they have a battering ram, which is going to be terrible at defending cities, and three Andean militia. So we absolutely outnumber them in every conceivable way. Let's declare war. I don't think they'll want to they'll want to uh, pursue this war for very long. We are much more powerful than them. And and oh look, wait, who's this with the Oh, uh Yeah, I'd love a plus three relation boost with uh, our allies. That that's great. Okay, so we got a plus three relations boost thanks to a random event uh, with these guys. So we actually have a plus fourteen. I declared war on their friend, but I don't think they really care. <laughs> We have plus 14 relations with them, which is which is wonderful. Wonderful. Right, let's bombard the city. Uh, what are your odds of killing the archer? 98%. So we'll kill the archer. Uh, which should pave the way open for our swordsmen to ransack the city. No effort. And uh, we will burn that city to the ground. And we'll move these guys in to build a new one. There we go. Gwalior. And we're going to want to build some culture here. So the first thing we're going to actually build is the library. Uh, since that will provide us some culture. Culture is important. Okay, perfect. So the war is off to a great start. We lost no troops. They're willing to negotiate even. Because we kicked their ass so badly. Um, which is fantastic news. Fantastic news. Uh, let's have those guys fortify. And I'm also going to want you to build a build a workboat just after they finish that so he, the workboat can go get those fish for our latest city. Right. So this army is going to take a little while to uh, replenish. It's going to take four turns. Um, isn't a problem. Let's have this uh, this guy go train up on those those barbarians down there, and uh, let's carry on building some more fields. Uh, the Incas will peace out with us. I'm not interested in peacing out with them. Uh, we've got a great profit. Perfect. So now we can build. The Temple of Solomon, which spreads Judaism. We can turn three citizens into priests. Uh, so this city is going to have lots and lots of priests. Apparently our guy lost on a 98%. Don't worry about that. That happens. Welcome to Civilization 4. <laughs> uh, it's actually, I, I will say it's actually good that happened. Because, you know, as luck works the way luck does, um, the fact that we managed to... Uh, Lose a 98% battle means that our battles over here are going to be even better. Oh, and now Napoleon declared war on us. Hmm. Oh, that's quite a lot of troops. 
That's quite a lot of troops. Okay, I wasn't expecting Napoleon to declare war on us, so we'll peace out with the Incas. Um, that's kind of awkward. Hmm. Uh, I'm not even sure where their their nation is. Where even are they? That's the Chola Empire. That's the Macedo. France is over there. Are you kidding me? Could you declare war on France, please? Maybe these guys will. Work. Declare war on France. You want to declare war on France? No, I don't. Why did France send an army all the way down here? That's quite, quite infuriating. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get troops there in time. So they're probably going to capture that city, which means that I'm going to need to build up a force to uh, go and deal with them. Can we get another swordsman, please? Hmm. That is... Uh, so they've sent a horde over to come raid us. They've even got a great general. Although it's on an archer, so that archer's going to die. So they're going to lose their great general because of our, our Sreni patches, which are kick-ass against archers. Oh, the Bronze Age. Okay, so this is something I did want to cover in the tutorial as well. Uh, this is probably not going to be the longest tutorial. It's just sort of covering what you do to get started with the game. Um, I'll probably have a couple more episodes after this one, but this is definitely one thing I wanted to uh, talk about and that's the new separatism mechanic. So the way it works is um, you need random events enabled. This is based off a random event system. Um, at certain stages of the game, uh, there will be sort of historical periods of, up, uh, of you know, societal change, uprisings, revolutions, that sort of thing. The Bronze Age Collapse, is uh, based on the idea of um, a lot of tribes and stuff uh, failing um, and being taken over by the more, uh, I say civilized, but uh, the more advanced uh, civilizations. And this is what uh, gave rise to the classical period uh, with the you know, Greek city-states, uh, Rome, those kinds of civilizations now sort of coming into the forefront uh, of uh, the geopolitical scape. Uh, definitions of statehood change over time. Earlier tribes form into larger peoples with their own cultural identities. Uh, rulers now rely on appointed governors and client relations. Culture now generates twice as much separatism. Hard times are ahead of us. So I will just go over what, how to check your separatism. Uh, if you double click on a city, separatism will be in the bottom here. Separatism is modified by various different things. As you can see, separatism is currently not affected uh, by culture in this particular city. Our civics provide minus five. Our espionage provides minus two. Uh, spending into espionage reduces separatism. So it's a good idea to have some points in that. Unhappy, unhealthy people will cause separatism. Uh, Non-state religions cause separatism. Uh, other people's cultures cause separatism. And we now have double separatism uh, caused by cultural differences. Uh, instability, lack of defense or, or having um, defensive buildings will increase or decrease separatism. Uh, population provides separatism at a rate of one per person. Um, and, you know, military garrison will also reduce separatism. Uh, so these are all things you need to consider. For example, the city of Gwalior is now has nine uh, separ separatism from culture because it is 95% Incan. So it is it is trying uh, to have it, it, it's not successfully having a revolt, but it is close to having one uh, thanks to that. So I'm going to need to build some more troops. Uh, not just because we're being invaded by the uh, by the Franks. We weren't going to win that, so unfortunately our city was destroyed. It's a good job I didn't build anything particularly important there. Um, but that is a bit of a piss take, honestly. Um, I do not approve. I do not approve or appreciate the Franks just coming in and burning one of my cities down. For what reason? I couldn't tell you. Uh, they just felt like it, I guess. I'm going to have to go build another settler. 
But let's go build another settler. Uh, it's a good job we build our settlers quickly, because otherwise that would be slightly more infuriating than it actually is. Okay, let's get another farm built. Okay. So now we can move this uh, force of troops up. We can attack their archer and kill it. So we killed their uh, their great general, which is a uh, haha jokes on you, buddy. Jokes on you. Um, I kind of want to go teach them a lesson, but it's going to take me like 20 turns to march over there, so it's a bit of a waste of my time. Um, I'll just need to keep larger garrisons around that area. I'm going to move this army back to go deal with the Incans. Right, so this force here is probably going to become the new city garrison. Um, and you guys are going to need to build... Um, they don't actually need something to increase their health. Uh, what's happened is they lost access to some health resources around here. Um, but I will build some new health uh, resources, uh, health buildings, just to make sure that it doesn't become a recurring issue. Right, well, the Franks peace out. No, they don't want anything to do with it. They don't want to peace out. They were just raiding us. They were literally just raiding us. It was a bit irritating, but what are you going to do? Actually, could you build a spearman as well? I just want to make sure they've got plenty of garrison uh, now. Okay, let's get rid of this Barb City so it won't cause us any uh, problems in future. And these guys are going to just wait until spies have been found operating near our cities. That's fine. And we got a great general. Perfect. Uh, I don't want the city, so let's just burn that down. Uh, these three units are city garrison units, so they're going to run down to go rebuild that city. Uh, we are going to want to grab the melee tradition for fierce warriors, uh, but I'm going to build it in the city down here. Because that, um, that does provide a small amount of culture, so it'll help them get their borders back. And apparently the Mongolians just uh, destroyed their capital. So, yes, this does tend to happen. <laughs> uh, effectively, um, th this, is, this is the Bronze Age collapse, so civilizations. The AI is quite um, enthusiastic about uh, raiding and pillaging and burning cities down and just being... They pick their enemies and they try to mess them up, and that's what they have done. Um, why the Franks marched all the way over here to mess us up, I couldn't tell you. Uh, but it is something the AI do. The best way to avoid this, um, this is something... I, I don't expect the AI to do it on, a, on lower difficulties, but apparently they do. They are merciless. Um, if you want to avoid this in your own games, best thing to do... Make sure you have three defenders in all of your cities. Uh, it might sound a bit overkill, but honestly, three defenders in all your cities is hardly a strain on your resources. And it will make such a massive difference if uh, the AI sends an army to come mess up your lands. So, unfortunately, we did lose our city of Benarez there, but we've rebuilt it now. So, not the end of the world. We'll get another Storyteller Circle built. And uh, let's have you construct the melee tradition, which will make all of our troops. And I'd, I'd also, after the storyteller circle, can you just build a? Uh, can you just build walls? Can you just build walls? That'd be fantastic. Uh, you guys are mostly built for city attack, so they're going to need to go east. Oh look, there's um, they've come back. Okay, so we killed a Frankish militia that decided to wander too close to our lands. Um, because 
yeah, they're just looking for plunder. They are looking for plunder. Okay. Uh, our peace deal will end with the Incas soon, and then we can march into their lands to deal with them. Uh, let's get a workboat to go build up this these uh, fish over here. Okay, our peace deal has ended with the Incas, and we are ready to go to war with them again. We are a very powerful sieve, so I find it kind of amusing that they'd um, declare war on us so brazenly. What's the garrison of the Incas? They have a worker there, they've got a scout, uh, three archers, so this should be a straight victory for us. Uh, let's um, bash down the walls. So yeah, just a bit of light warfare um, in this, uh, this episode. Okay, and let's get some of these swordsmen to go finish them off. Oh, citizens have formed a unit of Hutcher. Uh, they also died. Oh, they're getting more citizen militia. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, yes, install a new governor. I would love to rule the city of um, whatever the hell that is. Okay, we're going to have to have all of our troops defending uh, Cuzco for a while. It's, uh, it is following Judaism, which is very nice. Very nice for us. Uh, we're going to need some happiness buildings, so we're going to open up with a Jewish synagogue. Very nice, very nice. Uh, this archer leveled up. Let's give them um, land tactics. Uh, Napoleon wants to peace out, and so do the Incans. Well, let's peace out with the Incans. They're going to pay me 40 gold. I'll accept that. And the Franks, what do you want? You just want a white piece. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. They just came to raid us, and now they're, they're done. Don't stay at war if you can avoid it. Um, it's a good idea to just peace out wherever possible. Um, I would also like Indra Prastha. Could you build a boat, actually? I want you to start scouting. Actually, build a couple. I want you to start scouting around this sort of area. I want to know what's going on. Um, and I also need a workboat. So if you could get the workboat done first, that would be fantastic. Right, all of you guys just go pop in the city there. Um, we're going to need some city garrison, that sort of area. Uh, so let's um, build uh, an archer and a spearman. Okay, uh, we're just going to give them straight combat proficiencies. I don't think they need more city raider. I think they're, they're quite proficient at city raiding as it is. Okay, uh, this we pieced out, so we don't need that anymore. Uh, somebody declared war on someone. Napoleon will trade corn, will you now? What do you want for this? Can't be done. Cool. Um, he's not interested. Okay, how are we looking? Um, so yeah, a bit, a bit of turmoil in the lands of uh, whatever this planet wants to be called. Dirt. We won't call this this planet dirt, uh, Earth, we'll call it Dirt. Um, that seems reasonable. Okay, so we've managed to capture Cuzco. Uh, what did we capture from Cuzco? Smokehouse, granary, Vedic temple that we can't use. Fierce Warriors. Oh, we captured the Pyramids, which is disabled because we are not Pagan. But it does still give uh, Great Engineer points, I guess, probably. Uh, I would like you on food, if you, if you would. Yes, food and great people. I want the city to grow a lot. Um, it has the potential to grow a lot. And because of that, I would like it to. Uh, any peasant servitude for that? Um, I guess I can go build a farm over there. It might discover resources. Right, so this army is quite large. Probably a bit too large. Might need to cut some troops out of that. Might actually just keep uh, one of the Sreni to defend the city. Ok, 
Okay, let's grab the city raider units. You're not a city raider unit. Neither are you, but I'd like to have an archer for a ranged aid in the army. Ranged aid provides um where is it? There you go. Ranged aid two extra first strike chance. Very nice. Uh, they're going to need a few more troops to defend it, which we're building over here. I'd like a couple. I've got a small force over here, so we don't need to worry too much about um, randomly being attacked from the west and not having anything to defend ourselves. Uh, the Incans have spread out, actually, along this, uh, along this river, so they're not out of the game just yet. But we have captured their capital, so for all intents and purposes, we're doing plenty fine. Um, this new unit, we're going to give him city garrison, move him over to Cusco. And could you actually quickly pop out a scout? Oh, we can't build scouts anymore. Um, right, that's fine. I'm not too fussed. Uh, let's see. Their borders are quite big, actually. Yeah, interesting. Right. Now, I'm not interested in um, libraries just yet. We'll get to libraries, but later. Oh, wow, there's barbarians cropping up in the south there. You'll find more barbarian settlements popping up around this stage of the game as well. Uh, since people aren't... Um... Oh, wow, I'm, st I'm still the worst enemy of the Napoleon. You are getting ahead of us. Hmm, well, that's that's your own fault, isn't it? Uh, let's up our espionage. I think we need to deal with uh, separatism elements. And we're going to drop our tech so we don't get too far ahead of the other civs. Because uh, that does decrease relations. We've got, well, we've got plenty of money, so we can afford to lose a little bit of gold every turn, but not too much. Thoros converts to, to Hinduism. Okay, so there's a bit of an alliance block in the east forming against us under the banner of the Hindu faith. That's fine, we've got, um, well, I say we, ha we have an ally, our ally kind of lost his capital, um, which is a bit, you know, a poor effort, really. Um, but what can you do? What can you do? Uh, right, let's get a, let's get a mine built up there. And we've got another archer, which I'm going to send over to Kuzco. Let's make sure we've got plenty of garrison troops there. Uh, our capital's growing very large now. It's very good. Are they working on these cottages? They are. Perfect. I didn't even have to tell them. Again, I want to try to keep the uh, forests intact so we can use them for lumber mills. They're building a large stables. What do I want them to do after that? I guess they can build a hunter's cabin. Aha, we can get the 100% birth rate now. Could also build the Great Library. Could try build the Great Library in the capital. Don't really see a problem with that. Um, let's focus our cities on great people again. Um, where possible. Food and great people. If they can grow, I want them to grow, and if they're finished growing, they can get great people. Again, I want maximum value out of that. Um, our boy was killed by a pirate. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's some islands over here. Oh, that's a that's a route for expansion I could consider. Uh, I wouldn't mind taking this city actually. Two limestone. That's very nice. Not necessarily the spot I'd want it in. Um, Definitely the old capital of the uh, Dravidians is a decent spot. I think probably here is much better. Much better spread of resources. Um, but we'll consider that. Not sure if we want to go overseas just yet. Right, a peace deal with uh, Napoleon and that has ended. We got another great prophet. Um... Who could give us a golden age? They could join a city. Um, not 
not 100% sure what I prefer there. I could go for a Golden Age and get the Great Library on construction. I think I, I quite like that plan. Our Golden Age has begun. And we're about to get iron working. Iron working it makes our farms more effective. Uh, Srenis are a good thing to build. Hey, let's see if we can uh, open up some trade with anyone for resources that we don't have access to or we don't need. Uh, dear for corn. Not interested. Hmm. Pote could potentially get them to declare war on people. Still don't know where the Mauritanians are, but they keep going to war with the... Oh, the Mauritanians all the way over here. Okay, that's fine. They're doing their job, which is keeping the Assyrians under control, or Armenians. Yeah, the Armenians, keeping the Armenians under in check. Uh, we could uh, try and raid another one of the uh, Incan cities. I mean, we have an army, we should probably use it, right? I don't know why they want the fishing docks, but they do. It's not what I want them to have. You can get yourself a library. Yeah, granary's a good idea. Okay, their city's somewhere in the north there. I think it's there. I think it's on that spot there. So we'll uh, we'll raid it and burn it down. That's the plan. Need to get rid of this freaking Inca ship because it could it could raid our um our territory. Like it could raid the uh, our fishing resources up in the north there. Uh, what have they got? A hatcher and three archers and a militia. Okay. Napoleon declared war on Gustav. So he's not declaring war on us anymore, so that's a plus. Okay. Might need to hold off on this siege a little bit longer. I'd also like to get another Shreni up there. Let's uh, get you boys moving up in that direction. Tupac Inca wants to peace out. The Berbers need to be destroyed. I don't think so. I think the Berbers look fine, actually. What's this? Quechua Scout. Quechua Scout. Goodbye, Quechua Scout. Okay, we got rid of the Hatcher, which was their highest defending unit. Or highest strength defending unit. Keep pushing the uh, the Incas further away from our borders. I don't intend on taking the city, by the way. The city is purely for um, making some space. As brutal as that is. Uh, they have another Harcher, so they got that from um, people rising up as militia, I guess. Tolls and taxes. I mean, could I keep this city? I mean, I could. I could keep the city. I don't think I like it as much because the uh, the territory is a bit naff. Um, so I think we're just uh, we're just burning it. We're just burning it. Right, let's get back into our own borders. Nice, nice little income boost there. This is our golden age after all. Uh, 
Oh, there's pirates. Oh, I'm gonna need... Right, okay, let's quickly change our tech. I want naval warfare to deal with the pirates. Let's get shipbuilding. And then I want to go for dynasticism again. So we can build missionaries. If we can build missionaries, um, we'll be able to um, start spreading Judaism around. Uh, we'll need to get meditation as well. So let's get shipbuilding, meditation, and then uh, dynasticism. I think Buddhism's been founded somewhere. It might not have been. I don't really mind getting another religion. It just makes um, makes civil civic a civil religion not quite as good. Uh, what do we want in this city? A weaver shop makes sense. Oh, we can get the better archers as well. Well, we'll upgrade the archer that's currently in the army because he's wandering around doing useful war things. That's a technical term there. Alright, um, yeah, on the grassland I'd much rather, grassland, river, much rather build cottages, thank you very much. Let's take a look, see at this city, what is your epidemic chance, 0.5%. Uh, I could build a well to reduce that. That'll also sort out. Mm, happiness is more of an issue here, actually. Also, get the large stable and start building some war elephants. Mm, lots of lots of things we could get. Could also just build another wonder. All right, let's get the forge. Forges are always nice. We need to start focusing on building them. Uh, in fact, speaking of, you can build a forge too. Even if it takes a long time, the production they they, they pull in from it is going to be very nice. Fishing boats destroyed by barbarians. Yeah, very nice. Thank you very much, barbarians. Let's get those pigs again. Um, whoopsie daisy. Didn't improve them for a long time. Uh, right, let's go wander over here and see what their last city looks like. We have three times their military strength, so I can't imagine they have many troops left. Uh, okay, they have a few troops left. I don't think they have enough. But, we'll see. Uh, yes, 100% birth rate in that city seems like a great idea. Seems like a good idea. Right, once we've dealt with the Incas, I think we'll call that a day for our uh, military exploits. Alright, got shipbuilding, which is nice. We can now get some proper, some proper ships to deal with um, our neighbours. Alright, we'll end another turn. So our Sereni Pat Patyars will be able to deal with the rest of those archers, hopefully. Yes, they can almost certainly deal with the rest of those archers. Well, at least one more of them. And then the swordsman can go in and finish it off. And there goes the Incas. The four united uh, Suyus have been destroyed. So, we've already taken a sieve out. Nice. Good job. Good job, us. Let's, um, I could have taken that city, but, uh, I think our borders are a little bit sketchy right now. So, one thing you need to consider, whilst that is in a spot I would like, and whilst this city was in an okay spot, I would have been fine with it. What we need to consider is that, do we want to immediately put ourselves on the borders of another civilization that is not happy with us, namely 
the Armenians, especially since we have the Frankish are making waves over here against the Vikings. I don't think so, so much. In fact, I would like to wait my uh, espionage on old Napoleon next. We're going to try and wait a decent amount on him. I want to make sure we know what Napoleon is up to. Uh, because I feel like he's going to cause some problems in future. We also need to build some spies. So let's, um, let's do that. I want at least three. But it's a good idea to get a spy in every city. Because uh, they help thwart rival spies. So let's get some of our cities to start building spies. Otherwise, I'll forget. Uh, yeah, I'll subtract, subtract a small amount of gold. Potentially get more tech. Sounds good to me. And I'm also going to need you to build some... Uh, let's say... Let's build a warship. And then you're going to need to build some more fishing boats. Three of them. And a, and a fishing docks. Okay. So just planning stuff for... Oh, we met the Poles. Oh, they opened borders with us. Nice. Wonderful. And we have half a million people in our civ. So we're, we're definitely one of the, uh, the greater powers um, on the map. As you can see by our score. Well above that of the other civs. As I said, I don't find Noble difficulty particularly difficult. Um... But that's not why we're playing it. I'm playing it to showcase uh, how you might play your own games. Um, and Noble Difficulty is one that I expect a lot of people probably are, are comfortable playing. So it's one that I've decided to uh, showcase on. Right. Uh, that will be all for, for this episode. Um, next episode I'll be doing a little bit of a summary uh, Going, it's, it's exactly 300 turns into the game so I think that's a really good uh, point to, to end it um, as, fa as far as the tutorial goes I wanted to talk about um, the separatism mechanic uh, which you've seen the pop up you've seen how separatism works there's um, lots of different modifiers that affect it I'd have to play for a lot longer to get separatism to become a problem I'd need to probably play until about uh, the late renaissance early industrial period uh, but I'll talk about that in the next episode uh, where I'll be sort of summarizing uh, how the game has gone talking about um, how you can apply what what you've seen in your own games uh, and also, again, if you've got any comments, please uh, leave them so I can perhaps do another video where I explain something in greater detail if something doesn't quite make sense to you, or if there's anything that I've done during the game that you think you might have done differently, uh, you want to discuss it, um, please do leave a comment or join the Discord. Uh, it should be in the About section of the YouTube uh, page, and then you can ask me questions directly. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there'll be another, like I said, there'll be one more episode after this where I'll be uh, talking about the the game as a whole and uh, discussing why we did the things that we did. And uh, yeah, just a general overview. Um, it's been me, Chaff Command Copy. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one. As always, stay safe during quarantine times um stay indoors and play civ that's my advice <laughs> you don't think you'll get coronavirus playing civ and uh yeah i'll see you in the next episode uh goodbye for now